yeah, we've seen that in Game of Thrones. We we know how bad that can get. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Peaky Blinders Season 1, Episode 4. Now, pretty good. Classic line margarita, pretty good. In the last episode, Tommy made a deal with Billy Kimber, right? And that deal involved him giving grace to Billy Kimber for two hours, but then Tommy felt kind of bad. So he rushed back inside to stop what was about to happen. He doesn't, he's not as cold hearted as we think he is. You know, I think it's because he's developing feelings for Grace and he couldn't let himself go through with what he did. You know, she obviously didn't want to do it. He wanted her to do it so that they could, so they could reach a deal with Billy Kimber, but he couldn't let it happen so he ran back in and he did it in the best way he could while saving grace and not ruining relations with billy kimber he said he said she has the clap you know std syphilis so it looked like he was just like look bro i'm gonna save you right now i was gonna let you do this but my conscience won't let me let you get an std so it's like all right but now the deal is that his men the peaky blinders they're protecting billy kimber because obviously during the race that was happening the lee family was stealing from mr kimber and mr kimber's men couldn't do shit about it so they st took the money back from the lee family to prove that no we can actually help you out so it's all part of tommy's strategy so i'm excited to see what happens in this episode so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of peaky blinders will also be available on patreon and youtube membership click the enjoy button down below so anyways let's get started <laughs> oh. get now. okay they're gonna have a kid pretty soon then you know, freddie and ada freddie refused to leave He's standing his ground, he's standing up to Tommy, I'm not leaving. But that interferes with Tommy because he said he'd get him out of the way of Inspector Campbell. He'll deal with him, but he's still here. So if they catch Freddy and Ada themselves, Ada goes to jail for five years, four years. So they want Tommy to hand in Freddy and Tommy won't do it. Ooh. All right, well, they're about to ambush. What, are they gonna break in, steal all the money or something that they just collected from all the betters? God, Tommy's gonna be fucking pissed. We're just taking about what's ours. Oh, it's the Lee family. That's what. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, they want their fucking money back that they stole from Kimber in the first place. Okay, this makes sense. I can't wait to see how Tommy counters this. What the kids need is a mother. So that's why I'm getting married. I've already proposed and she, she said yes. There's a shell about to land and go bang. <laughs> it's, um, it's uh, Lizzie Stark. <gasps> a Stark? Oh, can't go wrong with that. And I'm sure she provides a fine service for the customers. I won't uh, hear the word. Uh, I see, I see. Use that word. What word is that, John? She's a prostitute. I know what word that is. Everybody bloody whore. That word? Or prostitute. How about that one? Lizzie Stark never did a day's work vertical. She's changed. All right, people. Well, well, she loves me. Mmm. I don't know if she does. I won't do it without your blessing. Tommy's not saying yes. Uh, it's brave. Oh, it's brave, all right. Mm-hmm. Going where no man's gone before. And with Lizzie Stark, John, that is really not what you'll be doing. Listen, Tommy. Welcome, yeah, Matthew. There's a rose to him. Tommy, we've been to Nova. The Lees. All mm -hmm. of them. Four cash boxes. I love these. Mm. Wire cutters. I and mean, why would they leave wire cutters? Nobody move. Yeah. There's a trap somewhere. There's a tripwire somewhere. And we gave up ground to the Germans. We'd leave you on booby traps. Set up with wires. Yeah. We'd leave wire cutters. It's part of the joke. That's fucked up. We're in here, there's a home grenade. Oh, oh. Jesus. That's so sketch, because, like, probably connected to a drawer or something. Something that opens. It's not in here. If it was in here, it would have blown by now. It was my name on that bullet Erasmus sent. He set it up just for me. Finn? Yeah, in his car. I was pretending I was you. Do not fucking move. Which door did you open to come in, Finn? I didn't. I climbed in. <sighs> okay, okay. It's a climb out. It's exactly the same way you climbed in, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no! Finn. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
Okay, okay. No one died. I thought for sure Fan was about to die, but that was a close one. That's why you should never pretend to be me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, bro, I, we know he's cool, but like, people want him dead. Oh. All right, what's the counter? What's the counter move? Oh, he's going straight to them. The white flag. And he's gonna go talk to them himself. Tommy has some balls, dude. Put your hand on the Bible. Mm. I don't believe. Anyway, I didn't come here to lie. This war is cutting us all off. Your boys tried to kill me. Didn't work. So I'm beneath Daichi Koho Propinere. Radim Kachi Aliyad. Remember. Can you ask Saltra this? I knew it. The Bible. I have ambitions. You want to play a switch? I need your boys. For what? Kimber's not the brains. No. As a gadze who runs the rice. He's the cash cow. We now get the winner in one of every three rices before the rice even starts. Talking certainties. You come in mm -hmm. here boasting you're going to do someone down and in the same breath ask me to trust you. Yeah. I'm on the side. We are kin. It's funny, yeah, you just admitted you're gonna fuck over Billy Kimber. You expect her to do business with you? How does she know you're not just gonna fuck her over? Which, probably will, but you can't make her feel like you're not going to. It's... I need to know, who are you loyal to, Freddy? I said, who are you loyal to? Well, right now, your hand. I forgot to mention it in the intro of this video, but I but I did mention it in the intro of the last video. I know I knew Thomas was gonna fuck over Mr. Kimber. He was never gonna do long term plans with him. Hell no. He planned to fuck him over from the beginning. Whose address is it? Tommy, I'd like to suggest a strategy. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, meet with Inspector Campbell. Polly strategy. Your message said you have an address for me. Anonymous tip off. The address of Stanley Chapman. You promised me Freddy Thorne. This mm. is instead of Freddy Thorne. No deal. Inspector, mm. Stanley Chapman is a bigger fish than Freddy Thorne. And all you need is a shovel. If he talks, you will have proof. You might even get that medal. I want your word that you'll let Freddy Thorne and my sister leave the city. Very well. You have my word. He's probably, li he's probably lying. Can't trust anyone, dude. But on a more pressing matter, mm. I'm afraid that Mr. Churchill has been coming impatient. Yeah, you still need to get those guns for him ASAP. If you don't get back those stolen weapons soon, I will be replaced. It's done. The guns will be returned. That was the deal. Then I'm in your hands completely. You hold all the cards. My dismissal doesn't come before your decision to hand back those guns. If I were to be fired, then it were your fault. They're coming aggressively for you. I would do things that would shame the devil. That you and your scum brothers have your heads stoved in with mallets and spades. Yeah, if he's, he's gonna lose his job anyway. The only one to be spared would be your little brother Finn. It's a good watch while you die. And dumped in that part of the adult prison and have the most appetite for boys like him if my dismissal comes before your decision. You understand? Okay, I didn't. Okay, at first I was like, well, he's not threatening him. He's just, he's just being a bro, letting him know. Look, if I don't get those guns back soon, I'm gonna be replaced. And then I figured he'd follow up with like the now the guy after me. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, yeah. I get why Tommy got the idea to shoot him right there and why he almost did it because he. He doesn't want to see any of that happen. But anyways, going back, I fear, I thought Mr. Campbell was about to be like, the guy after me, though, will make sure you guys suffer and everything. That would be Tommy's motivation to get the guns back to him before that he gets replaced or whatever. So Inspector Campbell can still get a dub, you know, just make Tommy hurry up a little bit more with Kimber or whatever. Right. But no, he just he just threatened him. He's like, look, if I'm going to be replaced, I'm going to make sure my last day in office, I do all these horrible things to your family. And so that's why Tommy felt the need to kill him right there. So he can't do those horrible things because Tommy doesn't know if he's going to be able to get those guns back before he's fired. So he does have snow in his boots. Mm. You're fucked. <laughs> and Tommy just fucked over Mr. Chapman to make a new deal with him to let Freddy and Ada leave peacefully. Including the whereabouts of Freddy Thorne. Mm -hmm. Sir? Still gonna try and get him. 
I thought you'd done a deal. Nah, we're fucking him over. What you thought? <laughs> Will you give your word? <laughs> Fuck my word. People still talk about such things in this idiotic century. My word to who? To a peaky blinder. I mean, dude, Tommy's word isn't really worth much either. Because he's fucking over everyone. <laughs> so it's like, why would he respect his word to Tommy if Tommy doesn't, you know, Tommy would probably, Tommy's going to fuck him over too. You think my campaign against Shelby has become personal? Correct. What do you want? I came to warn you. They've lifted Stanley Chapman. How do you know? Police don't <laughs> spill that information. I know because it was me and Tommy who took them off. Yeah. Tommy did a deal. Return for safe passage for you and Ada. He's given them Stanley and the money. Yeah, it was Ada's idea. That's how desperate she is to get out of that rat hole you're keeping her in, like in the war. Who the hell do you think you are, you fucking shit? Don't you swear every mother's grave. And you think this copper will keep his word? No. If he does, you're safe. If he doesn't, Chapman will give you up. Mm -hmm. You'll still have to leave town, same result. Yeah. Except there's one thing that you got wrong. Hmm. Stanley won't be able to give up my address because he doesn't know it. Oh, OK. None of us know each other's addresses, so you've wasted your fucking time. Dude, Freddy, just leave. <laughs> He signed the death warrant of a good man. Damn. And they don't give a fuck. If you want me out of Birmingham, it'll have to be in a wooden box. Yeah, Freddy's gonna die because he won't leave. Guaranteed. <gasps> Bro, don't fucking touch her. You'd lay a hand on our aid and I'll put you in a wooden box myself. But he's just stuck in one there, I mm Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So you killed him? Did he give you an address? Nope. What's the matter with you? He fell down some stairs. This is not bloody Belfast. But if men like him get their way, it soon will be. Winston Churchill said, this is not Belfast, and you're f making him like Belfast. Winston Churchill's gonna hear about this, and he's not gonna be happy. All the wolves have rats, Grace. What's wrong with a dry warehouse? Tommy's orders. Mm. Always keep contraband near petrol boat moorings. Mm. Boats get searched. We mm. more them at junctions. So there's more than one way out. Arthur, shut the fuck up! Precise man, your brother. Is my head in upright? It is now. Fuck. <laughs> oh my one. god. I'm gonna search them on my one. Okay, okay, it's wine. Just wine so far. Not so much as the bullets, uh, just more cigarettes and whiskey. Oh, just whiskey and cigarettes. Arthur tells me you've been asking questions. Hmm. <laughs> about how we run our business and how we get our booze well I mean, actually no arthur doesn't know exactly arthur doesn't even know where tommy's keeping it he's not keeping it where arthur thinks it is literally tommy's like the only one that knows where it is and what kind of area he keeps it in so why here oh he's gonna question the fuck out of her now why, why do you ask so many questions about everything it's kind of suspicious why you're so curious about everything we do hmm well here it is grace i'll confess i need someone Kimber has an advisor by the name okay. of Roberts. Not about the guns. No, but you have something I need. Class. You know what I really hope this show does? Okay, I, I assume eventually he's going to figure out that Grace is working with Inspector Campbell, but I really hope the show doesn't reveal it to us, that he knows. No Catholic girl would enter a church and forget to make the sign of a cross. Mmm. You're very perceptive. Yes. First you lied to me about that pub you used to work in. Now I find out you're a Protestant. I like to fit in. You pull a pint, like someone who's thinking about it. This isn't an interview, this is an interrogation. You're washed up in a place you don't belong, for whatever reason. Mm. You know that most of what I do is illegal. I'm not blind. And yet you'd still be willing to work for me. Are you offering me the job? Then I accept. There's something else you should know. A very important detail about my reasons for employing you. Because he knows, he, know, he has to know, he has to know. She works for him. Who she works for. Oh, no, it's because he likes her. Fuck. Okay, we knew that he liked her still, but like, uh, dude, I'm, every time like he's talking to her, I feel like I, he knows she's working for Campbell. <laughs> okay, but like I was trying to say, I hope that Tommy figures out she's working for Campbell, but the show doesn't tell us that he knows yet. So then he can start, he can keep making all his moves, send her on like missions, whatever, go have her do stuff. But it's all leading to a big fat trap. And then we find out as the audience once Grace finds out that she's just been set up by Tommy, that Tommy's just been playing chess around her. I really hope something like that happens. Like, I'll be kind of disappointed if, like, it shows Tommy figuring out that 
she works for Campbell. I'd rather have it be a shock to us as the audience too, that he's known since like, I don't know, like let's say this episode to the finale and we don't know he knows until the finale, you know? Now why didn't you tell him, Lizzie? I don't wanna lose him, he's a good man. That was the answer I was hoping you'd give. The past is the past. Okay, and that's also why Tommy didn't want John to marry her because Tommy's been fucking her for the last two years as a client and now she's marrying John and you know but it was also part of his like arrangement with the Lee family to get John to marry one of, someone from the Lee and our farewell the pleasure's gone by does she accept you mean one last time you and me oh he's trying to fuck her <laughs> now he's testing her he's he's testing her Tommy wouldn't fuck over John like that. There's no, I mean, bro, eight pounds is a lot for the- so Where should we go? Tommy, should we, should we go to my lodging? Yeah, he was, he was testing. He wasn't serious. So the past is not the past. Yep. I love him, Tommy, really. John will make his own decision. Damn. But he will have the facts. <laughs> Your brother is 10 times the man you are. Damn, Tommy had to find out. Oh, that's, I have no doubt. Ooh. I mean, bro, how much is eight pounds relative to today? All right, the show takes place in 1919. That would be equivalent to 530 pounds in 2023. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. I've been working on Arthur. He's easier. God, you're a gangster with a secretary. The pretensions of these hoodlums are quite breathtaking. <laughs> Well, they're, they're trying to be professional. They're trying to have class, at least. He's obviously fallen quite heavily for you. Cuts off ears and cuts out tongues. The difficulty with undercover work, Grace, is to remember what you are. Mm-hmm. Don't get lost. If she falls in love with him, she'll forget her purpose. She'll forget, she'll forget the mission. And that's what he's worried about, so. I'm gonna take Lizzie for a ride in the country with the kids. I'm gonna celebrate getting the license. I mean, honestly, Tommy, don't even tell him. Don't even tell Look, him. John, you're my brother. Nah, he's gonna tell him. There's something I have to tell you. Mm -hmm. I was okay. I was gonna be like, well, what, what he doesn't know won't hurt him, but. I offered Lizzie some money. She said yes. You do with it what you want. Marry her, if you want. But you have to know. She said yes. This puts a stain on their marriage now. Yeah, John. Uh, I feel bad for John, dude. He really wanted this. He really wanted this marriage. Now he probably won't be able to go through with it. He's hurt. Poor John. Oh, if we knew someone else who had a phone, we could call him. <laughs> Tell her there'll be a truce. Am I delivering bait for a trap? If you check that contract. I think you'll find it doesn't say anything about asking questions. <laughs> I spoke oh. to Lizzie. Oh, he's down bad. I don't know what you told me. She you said your brother Tommy is a dirty liar. Mm, well, yeah, she's embarrassed. To keep the wolf on the door, she still sees a couple of regulars. But we still have to look out for each other, right? Mm hmm. Always. That's why he did what he did. He's looking out for you, I guess. We've got a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow, we finish the war with the ladies for once and for all. Oh. Since when? Since just now. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, imagine you're one of these guys and you just see fucking ten dudes in suits just pull up like this. There's something you're gonna need. Hmm. Oh. Smile, John. It's a wedding. It was bloody wedding. Now, if we told you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, it's for him, huh? Well, they found me. It's yeah. going to be wild. They got him an arranged marriage. This is his deal with them. A girl who needs a husband, a man who needs a wife. Yep. This is this is his deal with the Lee family. I've already betrayed you. If you back out now, there's going to be one fucking mighty war breaking out. Yeah, we've seen that in Game of Thrones. Pretty. We we know how bad that can get. <laughs> We'll be united forever, and this yep. war will be over. Now it's We're gonna, this marriage will unite the houses, with the Shelby's and the Lees. <laughs> Here today to join in matrimony. Mm. 
Yeah, they got the invitation. And the power of these two families around us. Mm, she's pretty. <laughs> John Michael Shelby, take Ismay Martha Lee to be your beautiful you wife. Invitation. Grace said there's a truce. Death Family and day. Even though I'm a thorn now. Thorn in my side, that's for sure. <laughs> You admire him, don't you? There remains one more part hmm. of the ceremony. It's the sure, there's things about Freddy he admires. But the two families become the one. I now pronounce you man and wife. Huh? Oh, okay. If Billy Camber hears about this, what the fuck is he gonna think? He's gonna be like, bro, what? I thought he's gonna be like, what the hell, dude? He's gonna be pissed, and that could that could ruin their deal. That could ruin relations between Tommy and Billy Camber. So. You, you better hope Tom, uh, Billy Kimber does not find out about this. You know, no, he won't even now. let me have a fucking dance! Calm down. <sighs> oh, Holy oh. shit. Water. Yep, she's going into labor. Good night, Paul. Freddy should be here. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. The truth lasts till sunrise. On my house. Tell Freddy it's safe. So you think her husband will take the same advice and stay away? No. No, oh, no, Freddie will be there. It's right. I'm all out tonight. <clears throat> mm, yep, Freddie's on his way. It's funny. You can tell that's Freddie, but you can tell by the outline that's him. <laughs> his fucking haircut. Come on, open up. Watch. They're not gonna be able to let him in, and he's gonna get arrested right here. Oh, never mind. It's a boy, Freddie. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was very risky for Freddy to travel here. But I mean, dude, it's his fucking baby. His, baby's, his baby was just born. Of course he's going to come and see it. So it's like... Boy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Wait, did Tommy set this up? Did Tommy set it up? But the police came and took his father away. I don't think Tommy did. I don't think he did. You liar. I don't think Tommy tipped them off or anything. Oh, she fucking did, huh? I don't think she'd risk calling him. I was gonna say in the outro, now they have a phone, she could call Inspector Campbell because they have a phone in his office. But then again, I was like, well, she wouldn't wanna, I don't think she'd risk calling him from the bar, you know, just in case like Tommy catches her on the phone with him or something, you know? He's gonna be like, who are you on the phone with? And it just could cause a bunch of problems. Like, if he catches her on the phone multiple times, he's gonna be like, who are you calling so much? Like, literally nobody has a phone except for someone like Inspector Campbell. So I, that's why I figured she wouldn't call from the bar, but I guess she did. But anyways, that was episode four. John said, Tommy said that there's a truce tonight. And then Tommy was like, I'm all heart tonight or whatever. And then the Grace just walked out immediately. And then she tipped off the cops that Freddy's gonna be here. Okay. Okay, that's what happened, duh. Because Tommy looked super duper confused right there. Tommy looked super duper confused, like I didn't fucking do that. And then that's why it panned the Grace. Okay, I feel like that's really obvious that Grace did it because Tommy's gonna be like, well, who besides us knew that Tommy was gonna, knew that Freddie was gonna show up? Grace, huh? She heard us talking about it and then she walked out of the room as soon as we mentioned it. Oh, you know, that, that gives it away that she's an op, that she's a rat. She's working with Campbell. Tommy's gonna put that together right there. Like he's gonna realize in the next the next episode, it's gonna realize. I also forgot there's only six episodes in, in a season. Like I'm so used to ha like shows like this having ten. I assume there was ten, but no, there's only six. So this is the moment where Tommy finds like figures out she's working for Campbell because there was no possible way they would have known Freddy was here if it wasn't for Grace. So, I mean, shit, they got Freddy, but she just gave up her position. Like there's no way Tommy doesn't put two and two together right there there's no way okay one thing i want to add too is i'm sure you noticed my text notes as i'm editing this video everything is a lot more clear on the second watch because i'm, I'm re-watching it as i'm editing this is what i'm thinking at the same time but i'm just i'm not saying it because for one i don't want to talk over to them and two you know when you have a thought in your head but you can't really articulate it the way you want as quickly as you have to that happens a lot to be honest like i have a thought but i need to get it out as fast as i can so that i don't miss anything that happens next in the show or whatever we're watching so i'm putting in these, these text notes to add on to what i like noticed what i thought 
about everything and to just add more to what I already thought. Also, another thing, if he doesn't catch on right away about the ending of the episode to where Grace, as soon as she found, as soon as she heard Freddy's in town, she left the room. Obviously, she called the cops to let him know where Freddy's gonna be. If he doesn't catch on to that right away, he should catch on to the fact that Arthur told Grace about the warehouses and then the police looted them literally that same night. He should hear about that because those are his warehouses. He's going to get word of that too. So that should be another trigger for Tommy to realize Grace is an op because these two incidents are connected back to her. It's not a coincidence that as soon as you tell her something, there's a negative effect of it almost immediately. And Tommy's gonna realize that's why she put the motherfucking phone in the bar so she could hit up the cops and Inspector Campbell quickly. But yeah, I would say this is probably the most interesting episode so far because we got to see everything unfold right here. We got to see a bunch of moves being made in this episode. So in the beginning, it started off with them being robbed by the, Lee fa by the Lee family. They got their money back. But then Tommy straight up went to the Lees to make a truce or whatever, right? And marrying John to them was part of the deal. So that's probably why he went to Lizzie in the first place to be like, yo, here's $8. Are you going to fuck me right now? And cheat on him or what you know because it's a big deal because it's like it's embarrassing to the shelby name that john's marrying a prostitute and obviously the family doesn't want that so and then tommy knew she would probably cave and the, he arranged this marriage in the beginning of the episode it just didn't show us it just didn't show it on screen i'm guessing right there and then so he knew that she would cave and then he would tell john and john wouldn't be able to do it and then john would talk to her find out she has more regular customers and he wouldn't be able to go through with the marriage and so Tommy could marry him to the Lee family instead as part of their deal. Okay, smart, smart, smart. And like, yeah, when Tommy was like, tomorrow's the big day for the Lee family, we make our move. I was like, dude, there's no way they're going to war. That just, I was like, what about the deal then? Like they made in the beginning, you know? But yeah, they just got married. So, okay, good twist. Inspector Campbell just fucked him over hell hard. Well, for he th first he threatened him. Like, look, if I get dismissed from this job, cocking everyone in your family as hard as I can on my last day. He routed out Mr. Chapman to Inspector Campbell as part of a tr as the truce to get Fred and Ada out safely. But Inspector Campbell did not honor that. He was never going to. Uh, Freddy's address from him, but he didn't know Freddy's address. And he ended up dying, so they got nothing out of that. Maybe Tommy knew that. Maybe Tommy knew Chapman didn't know Tom, uh, Freddy's address. And so that's why he handed him over, handed him over, trying to get safe passage for Freddy and Ada, knowing that this guy wasn't going to be any use to Inspector Campbell. Okay. And then, yeah, and then the scene in the church with Tommy and Grace, Okay, I thought he was about to reveal that he knows and somehow he knows. Okay, first of all, I wish the season was 10 episodes, not six. Secondly, they could still do it, but because of what happened at the end of this episode, they kind of can't because it's obvious Tommy is going to know now. But like I said, I wish like he knows the show doesn't acknowledge to us that he knows. He just starts making his moves around the fact that he knows that Grace is working for Campbell. And then he just hits a royal setup on her and cucks her like gets her to fall in love with him even harder to use her as much as he can before just making his final move and cucking her but no it's too late now like it's it's obvious tommy knows now but yeah that was episode four peaky blinders comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching